We are the time you've been waiting for, the day you've been waiting for. I know I have as well. Guys, we have Jericho McMatthews, creator of Morning Meltdown 100 on the call with us. Jericho, welcome to our Q&A about Morning Meltdown 100. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We're excited to have you, coaches. Let me just say the sample workout was huge. Um, I don't know if you guys have uh, watched, seen how many people did it. So many, it blew out our, not probably not, not Jericho's, but our expectations were blown out of the water. So many of you did it. And the thing that caught my eye the most was how much you loved it. It, was, it wasn't like, oh yeah, that was great. That was fun. It was, I cannot wait for this program to come out. That sample workout was so much fun, guys. That was just a sample. And I hope you are showing your prospects that sample because they're going to get into this program full speed and absolutely crush it. Okay, so the whole point we're on here is because we are here to ask Jericho the questions you asked. Remember, I put that post up in the champions page here and had you drop your questions below. I took the top questions. We're gonna get as many as we can through this with Jericho. Um, so Jericho, are you ready for this? Kind of a I'm rapid ready. fire jump <laughs> right on in. Okay, um, so, uh, just just quickly, the, the thing is coaches don't understand how the weeks go, the workouts go. Can you walk us through the different workouts that are in Morning Meltdown 100? Awesome. Yeah. And I and, and that's a really, really commonly asked question. Um, I've been getting that question since we initially announced this program and before all the, you know, all the workouts and each phase was even developed. So even myself, when I sat down with Carl and we started talking about creating this 100 workout strong program, it took me a minute to wrap my head around uh, the fact that there was no, you know, Monday through Friday or, you know, day off in this 100 workout strong calendar. Cause you can't really, I struggled to call it a calendar. Cause I'm like, wait, I look at my calendar and I see dates and days. And so here's the thing. Um, just know, first of all, that it is super flexible to, you know, to incorporate into whatever your life and lifestyle and your preference is. So if you, if you do, um, prefer to have it on a Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday and have a, a rest day feel. So you can like look at a, cal a real actual calendar with the rest of your life on it. It's totally doable. Um, if you're one of those people, which this kind of shocked me, there are a lot of people in the test group that came out the other end and they were like, wow, what I really loved is I didn't even know what we were pushing play on the next day. So um, I'm going to get into explaining a little bit more about each of the 10 different unique varieties or, or genres or formats within the 100, because one through 10, the first one through 10 workouts, uh, which is super exciting. You guys will actually have access to them um, as coaches exclusively for the first two weeks of July. Uh, they're very unique and very, very different. Okay. So from a broad perspective, there's, you know, different styles of cardio, different styles of resistance training, integrated core, um, total body, and two different styles of recovery. So again, instead of just having a full day off, and, and, um, and not pushing play, your recovery workouts are baked in. And those are, if you guys can see my calendar behind me there on the wall, you see all 100 squares, you're gonna see five different phases. So every 20 workouts, you graduate a phase. But if you were to start this program on July 29th, on a Monday, let's just say, you're doing workout number one and that's cardio meltdown, okay? So since there's not seven days here or seven categories, there's 10. That means that every Monday you're going to actually be doing something different, if that makes sense. If you wanted to go with a different calendar and get a stacking day in there, if you like to, if that's your jam and you want to um, really always know that you're going to sweat it out hard on a Monday, there's there's a little uh, way you can do that. It's, it's an easy tweak, but bottom line, uh, you would start off with cardio meltdown. That's your endurance focused cardio workout. It's beat driven. And it's a super simple structure. It's a lot of fun. And um, by the way, so you guys, if you did the sample workout, you experienced a little bit of cardio meltdown. So remember the rhythm run that we did the rhythm run there. Um, that, that category is category one. So one, 11, 21, all the way down to 91. If your workout ends in the number one, you're doing cardio meltdown. Category two, or if you're going one workout at a time, 100 days straight, Tuesday, your first Tuesday workout would be upbeat strength. So you're picking up your dumbbells. All you need for this workout program is a good selection of different dumbbells, right? So you need light, medium, and heavy weights. If you have a mat, that's awesome. Some of the work we do is on the ground, lying on your back. Uh, we have 
category three or day three is integrated core. So we do use dumbbells for that workout as well. And it's all about um, just shredding your core, your glutes. We get a lot of glute work in there um, and your postural muscles as well to help you stand up straight or have better posture and, um, and also help protect your back and make it stronger. Four is our first total body categories. So that's total body badass. Again, your first week doing this program, that would fall on a Thursday. And I really, really loved putting this one together. I'm just bringing in my love for moving to music and, and just incorporating different genres, different styles of, um, of programming. And one thing that we haven't had in the catalog is, is bar. And so it's not all bar, but there's definitely some inspiration coming from bar, but it's a very, very athletic approach. So I wanted to make sure to think about, you know, the guys or, you know, people that more important to me than, than experiencing something that's really niche. The most important thing to me is that people can feel successful and get great results in a program. So uh, it's, it's taught very broken down. It's basic. There's a lot of uh, different levels and options you can choose from, but we're bringing in just a little inspiration from bar because we get to target some different muscles and muscle groups that are often missed and other styles of training that we're, we're getting into. So balance work, a lot of work in your core, a lot of pulses, high repetition work. Um, and then you, you get to level up every move. And then you always finish with like a, a power or a plyometric move. So your heart rates um, through the roof, you're sweating bullets and your muscles are just on fire. By the way, with three to five, maybe maxing out at eight pound weights. I'm not even kidding you. You're never going to like, if we have people on from the test group, they would, I'm sure they would share with you uh, how humbling five pound weights can feel during that workout. Uh, but that's total body. So after the first four hard working workouts, you're going to get the fifth workout is always going to be recovery. So five is called freestyle flow. Uh, that one's bringing in some beautiful inspiration from yoga. There's some dynamic flexibility. So we really target just opening and stretching everything up, uh, everything out that you've worked so hard on the previous four workouts. Um, we've got some work, a, a very small block of balance but it's also lengthening. There's some twists in there, hip and glute opening exercises, um, just big, deep stretches. So heart rate comes up just a little bit to make your body nice and warm and, and get you more flexible. So again, these are all 20 to 30 minute long workouts, uh, especially the recovery workouts. They're um, probably maxing out around 20, 20 minutes or so. Um, also lit cardio is next. So we're cardio meltdown category one, all the, the ones there is beat driven and it's endurance focused. So think steady state cardio. Your second category of cardio is completely different. And uh, for any of you guys that love to get in a, just a, a quick and, and nasty uh, hit workout, this one's for you. And I had so much fun making this workout. This is how I love to train. So brought in all of my, um, the inspiration that, that, I, that I love, I uh, love to do in the gyms and the boxing studios. I love battle ropes slam balls, um, just all big plyo boxes. So of course we don't have that equipment, but you're gonna have those styles of moves in the program. So we have a move called the rocket slam. So you're holding an imaginary medicine ball and you're flying in the air and slamming it down. Um, all, all sorts of, of fun new moves that you've never done before. So that's six and feels very different from one. And a lot of you guys that did push play on, on um, the sample workout, you got a little, you got a little taste of, uh, of cardio meltdown, but you didn't get lit. So just know that a lot of the same moves that you do in cardio meltdown, you're going to do in lit cardio, but the focus is different. The structure um, and the results are very different. So it's super sweaty, super challenging, super fun. Category seven is your second strength workout, but it's lower body. So it's legs and booty. Okay. And, and it follows the same structure as upbeat strength, which is day two or workout two, but you're just focused on everything south of the border. And it's, it's a whole lot of fun. We actually use um, a little bit of a slower BPM or a tempo. So what's super cool about having a DJ makes this program very, very unique and different, but um, just also that much more incredible is our ability in the moment to either lift the tempo just slightly or pull it back and move a little bit slower. So think bottom half pulses. Uh, you know, we, we use slower music at times, not just because it brings in more variety. We can listen to things like hip hop that have a slower BPM. Um, so we get more variety musically, but we choose music. Uh, Jesse and I worked together, worked really hard on selecting the right style of music for every single workout category so that you guys can really maximize your results and your training effect. Um, 
changing the tempo. So if the, the music picks up in pace, we're probably going to pick up the pace uh, with the tempo that we're moving. So if you're if you're thinking about you know a slow squat and then the music might ramp up or the chorus drops in or you might hear a new verse start and we change the tempo. So just that's my background moving to music and I really love the effect that you get from it. You you have so much fun, you kind of forget how hard you're working and you're able to tap into the music and really it helps enhance the whole experience. So there's that, there's downbeat strength. So again, you need um, a good selection of dumbbells for that workout. Category eight. So here we are, we're, we're past day seven. So if you're thinking in terms of Monday through uh, Sunday, we're, we're back to, we'd be back to Monday there. So you'd be pushing play on the following Monday with Fight Club. And that's your, it's your integrated core workout without dumbbells, you're on your feet. And I could not build a program this big and not bring in the incredible uh, results that you can experience from rotational core work from mixed martial arts. So we are kicking and punching on the beat. I brought in some uh, amazing new styles of movement, but I want to make sure everyone knows this for anyone that's done core to force. It's completely different than core to force. We're actually moving to the rhythm of the music and the combinations uh, are, are way less uh, complex, if that makes sense to you guys. So a lot of you, we, we, we had a 30 day program with core to force and every, every MMA focused workout built on the previous one, they got longer, the combinations got longer. So these are, there's only 10 of them, right? And the whole workout, eight, 18, 28. I called it my crazy 88s if there's any Kill Bill fans. But um, yeah, those, there's only 10 of them. So I wanted to make, make sure that people could really successfully follow them. And most importantly, get great results. So the combos are fun. They're really simple. And again, they're really focused on just shredding your core and, uh, and, and getting some work into your glutes as well. So we've got eight and then nine is our second total body category. So again, if you were following this in order, the first two weeks of your workouts, this would fall on the Tuesday and it's metabolic conditioning. So a little more similar to the feeling that you experience during a hit workout where you're working max effort, we're moving off the rhythm of the music, we're breaking the beat. So certain workouts do happen on the beat. Okay. And if you're, if you're not a musical person, if you feel uncoordinated or you don't, uh, don't naturally move on the rhythm of music, it's all good because a lot of the cast is going to be moving on their beat. Um, you've got Jesse grooving the whole time. So again, this is just, this workout is all about you and, and, and you bringing your A game to it, whatever that means. All right. So are you going to feel um, like you're stepping out of your comfort zone sometimes stepping out of your box? Absolutely. And that was one of my big goals for you because you guys, you got to do things differently. If you want different results, you've got to, uh, you've got to, challenge yourself if you really want to see the change. And I promise you, I can, and I can't wait to see this. You're going to shock yourself with uh, your ability to, to do moves that you've never done before, to do moves that you look at and you think there's no way in hell I can do that. And I promise you, you're going to do them and you're going to feel so proud and so excited about it. And I've, I've been watching it happen over the last two days with a sample workout. I was flying home from Sweden we're on vacation. Um, I was visiting my, my in-laws, my husband's from Sweden and flying home, we landed and I got to see all the hype building over the sample workout that dropped that day. And uh, just to see so many people doing these moves and using the hashtag, which by the way, in a minute, I want to make sure I cover um, all the, the information behind me on the board, but hashtag MM100, if you guys aren't following it, please check it out. And morning meltdown 100, tag me, Jericho McMatthews. I want to love and share your guys' posts, but people are making the most incredible action shots, doing these moves. And um, one of my favorite videos was a mom that was like, there's no way I can do that lightning bolt thing, but whatever, I'm gonna try it. She's in a high plank and she starts giving it a go. And then all of a sudden she nails it on like the second or third try. And one of her two little babies was like, whoa, wow. And seriously, it brought tears to my eyes because in that moment, just to see her confidence build, but also the example that she just set by being brave, you know, and feeling the fear and just doing it anyway, I, it just blew me away. And so that's, I just, I get goosebumps thinking about um, how much people are going to grow and, and, and feel stronger with this program. So yeah, there's that, that's metabolic conditioning. And then 10, we've got a uh, revive. So that's our, our second recovery format. So again, if you guys, um, I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure, but you're going to get the question, Hey, I'm not a morning person. Is it cool if I, if I do this later in the day, or does that mean I can't do these workouts? Um, 
listen, the most important thing and the reason why I developed this program to be done first thing in the morning is because I want you to make yourself a priority. I want you to make your health um, and your happiness a priority. And by creating a habit and just changing your routine a little bit, if you can, it, it only takes a few steps. And, and which, by the way, we have the B100 book and that's going to help you set yourself up for success and, and create a great morning routine. If that means setting your clothes out the night before, setting the coffee maker, getting your energized ready to go, you're gonna fly through these workouts because they go by fast and they are, they're super fun, high energy. You're gonna be in a better mood. You're gonna get your happy chemicals flowing, right? You're gonna get your, your natural endorphins flowing first thing in the day. And I promise the ripple effect that you're gonna feel throughout the rest of your day, the rest of your week, month, you're, you're not going to want to live without that. So there will be days where you can't push play in the morning. Life happens. I get, I'm a busy mom. I get it. Um, but absolutely, you can do this program any time of day. You can do it at midnight if you want to. But the most important thing is that you get it done. So don't worry. Don't stress out about the calendar, the lack of Monday through Friday. You can implement it however you need to to make it work for your lifestyle. Well, there you have it. That, guys, was a... Super comprehensive uh, overview of Morning Meltdown 100 workouts. In fact, I learned tons while that on, I've been writing notes this whole time. That was really good. Thanks for sharing that. Okay. Um, two quick questions on the workouts and then we're going to move to nutrition. Um, a lot of coaches were asking like, well, I, I, I run or I do, I go to the gym still or, or I, I, I do other things. Does this fit in with other parts, uh, other ways of working out? And and can I stack workouts or do I only have to do one a day? That's a really good question. I will say, first of all, uh, in, in terms of well, the, the first question you asked about individuals that have other styles of training that they really love to enjoy. So I know like one of the things that I love most about Lift 4 that I know a lot of you guys love is it's four days a week and it gives you permission. It gives you freedom to do other things that you love to do. So that if it's hiking, if it's surfing, um, whatever it is, you can get those other activities in and still do your lift four workouts four days a week and get great results. Okay. So by the way, with my background too, that's how I train. I don't follow just one thing all the time. And, and, um, every single, you know, Wednesday is hump day and I get legs and booty in. That's, that's not my life. Um, especially as a fitness professional. Now I will say variety is everything to me. And depending on my goals, depending on my lifestyle, my calendar, what's going on, things will change. And I'll, I'll make shifts based on that. I'll make shifts also based on, you know, how I'm feeling, what my body needs. So if I feel like Ooh, things, you know, aren't feeling as flexible as they were before, then I'll bring some more yoga back in, or I'll bring some more mobility, flexibility into my, my routine. So it's just really important that from a broader perspective, any, any person that has something that they, if they're non-negotiable and they don't want to give it up, if that's running. If you're a runner or if you're um, a CrossFitter, if you're teaching group fitness classes, you, you need to use your best judgment as a fitness professional. Okay. To, to know how to make the tweaks because this is a this is a hundred workout strong program and there's the, the variety that you get in this covers every major modality different styles of cardio different styles of resistance training like upper and lower body different styles of core training integrated core and i'm not just talking six pack abs i'm talking postural muscles i'm talking your glutes you cut off your arms and legs, you're working everything in the middle. And that's so, so important. Um, and it's going to make you stronger in everything that you do. Total body. There's different styles of total body where you have metabolic conditioning and you have total body badass. So we're getting into smaller muscle groups and, and using some different postures uh, and, and tempos and, and, and um, balance work to give you different training effects. All right. So bottom line, you need to know what your goals are. You need to know what's important to you. Uh, but I will say again, you know, overtraining is you're going to put yourself at a huge risk with overtraining if you're not really careful and intelligent at how you move forward and you've got to tune into your body and listen to your body with these workouts. I developed 100 workouts. I developed more than 100 because there's prep workouts as well. And you guys did the sample workout, but these 100 workouts, they were built in a way that makes sense. And there's five phases. Okay. So someone's going to come to me and say, Jericho, I want you to build 
20 to 30 minute long workouts and they're to be done every day for hundred days, then I wouldn't build them and ask everyone to just stack them and get through them faster. I would have just put together hour long workouts. All right. Uh, however, there are people there that have different fitness levels that have different schedules. And so for that purpose, there's some variety that you can introduce. Um, so I'd ask you to just use common sense, but I can't pre-prescribe uh, a schedule for a runner without knowing, are you an endurance runner? Are you a sprinter? Are you, you know, it can be done, but absolutely know that two out of every 10 workouts are cardio workouts. By the way, you're getting a whole lot of cardio in um, some of the other styles of training as well. So I would just say be, be, um, be mindful of it. And uh, I think we could probably take a deeper dive into the workout calendars at a later date and time. But for right now, just know it was the, this program was designed to be performed 100 workouts once a day, 20 to 30 minutes long. That means you get out what you put in. If you if you approach these workouts and aren't really tuning in your body and listening, thanks, Aida, um, you're you might experience some overtraining. And I, I don't want people walking around unable to wash their hair or walk upstairs because they're so sore. I'd rather know that you're giving it your all, trusting the process, trusting the program and, um, and bringing a hundred percent to every workout and getting great results. Cause that's how it was developed. Um, but there's flexibility to stack. Absolutely. And, um, I'm happy to share those calendars as well. Once they're, once they're live and ready to go. Love it. Thanks for answering that one. Okay. Um, last question on the workout. I know a lot of coaches who are talking to people who are brand new to exercise. They've yeah. maybe tried exercise in the past. They may have tried going to the gym in the past, but they're recruiting customers. Remember July 16th is the day where customers can purchase packs and they're going, looking at this going, Holy smokes. I have, this is way too far out of my league. Walk us through how a coach can talk to a customer that makes them feel comfortable that, you know what, even though I'm new, I can do this program. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's a really great question. And, uh, Absolutely. You're, you know, you're, you're going to have I mean, hundred is a huge number guys. Like, again, this is a season. This is a full season of someone's life. If you think about it, hundred workouts, um, we're talking over three months of someone's life. So this is a big commitment. And that said, I just want to remind everyone right now, you know, our bigger goal here, let's step back for a second. We want to get more people moving and, and, what's the why behind that? Yes. There are a lot of people that need to lose weight and, and they have, there's some health concerns going on. Their doctors are telling them they need to lose weight and exercise, but bottom line from my point of view. And one of the things that really made me fall in love with fitness and the reason why I fell in love with this industry so much, I was, I was going to school for psychology um, and ended up picking up a degree in phys ed and kinesiology as well. This is accidental guys. I planned on, on working in, in school and, and being a school psychologist, what I really love about this is this is the best form of, of self-care uh, therapy. People sign up for a workout. You, you work out your, um, you can work through anything, doing something positive like this, that's, that's healthy. And you're, um, gosh, you're just, you're, you're making yourself and your health a priority. All right. So bottom line, anyone can do these workouts they are 20 to 30 minutes long. So and most immediately, instead of looking at a number 100 and, and thinking, oh my gosh, I have to finish this in 100 days, life is going to happen. It will happen. You know, we can't stop that. That's inevitable. Um, things are going to, the curveballs will be thrown people's ways. But here's what you can tell them. First of all, I would ask you guys to, to look a little deeper. And, and when, I, when I say that, I mean, I'm, I'm bringing you the experience I have from so many years teaching group exercise classes rooms full of people from all different walks of life, different ages, different fitness levels, different problems, different realities. And they're all there for different reasons. And the customers, the people that you're going to talk to about this program, they're just, they're, they're the same. They're the same in that they're, they're individually so unique and different. And if you guys can get a little bit better at, at tuning in to kind of what what connects them to the experience in the first place? What are they seeking? Are they looking for community? Are they going through something challenging? Do they just need an outlet? Um, is it their physical ability or lack thereof? Um, is it insecurity? Okay, so if you can learn those things first, first and foremost, and, and learn as much as you can, and it's not always easy because a lot of these conversations happen online or you know through social media, 
But if you have the ability to connect with someone and get to know them a little bit better, that will help steer you for the next step. And the next step would be, let's say that it is, um, man, I, I'm, I really know that I need to work out. I need to lose some weight and, but you know, I'm just not a morning person, you know, what should I do? Or here we go. If it means the difference between them walking away from a program like this, just because they can't do it first thing in the morning, that's okay. That's okay. You want to grab them physically and hook them emotionally and take them on a journey to a better version of themselves. Keep them going. Just keep them moving forward. Whatever that means. If it means they just dedicate themselves to the program first, or they just dedicate themselves to the nutrition plan first, um, and then do the workouts in their own time. You've got to make little adjustments. You have to be flexible because this is not black and white. Everyone's lives are very, very different. Their needs are different. Their goals are different. Um, so I'm asking you to look a little bit deeper. Thank you. Okay. Love um, that. So and then, yeah, we have two modifiers. That was the other thing I wanted to say. I was, we have I was two just going to mention the modifiers. As well. modifiers. So we have Val to my left and Sienna just behind her. So Sienna is doing options, modifications of the modifications. You're going to see the entire cast. There's we have the biggest cast of Beachbody history, um, ten, not including DJ Jesse, who's doing another option. He's grooving legit the whole time. He's spinning and he's just grooving out and dancing and smiling and having so much fun. So I always tell people, listen, you can push play on these workouts. And if you're getting ready to throw in the towel and, and it means that you just take a second to groove it out and that gets you back in the game, then do that. But there are options for everyone. You can do everything low impact and it's 20, 30 minutes, totally doable. Love that. And coach, let me just add to that coaches. Um, if you're talking to somebody, a hundred workouts is very overwhelming, but I would do this 10 workouts at a time or a week at a time. And then check in with these people and say, okay, you've done 10 complete workouts. How are you feeling? Do you feel like you can do that again? Like just stay in contact with them, break it down into bite-sized chunks. Don't look at it as all hundred workouts. Let's get it through day at a time, seven days at a time, 10 days at a time. Really like that. Okay. Moving on now to this, oh, this, this yeah. book will be the game changer. So this is, I'm just share it with you guys quickly. Cause I know we're going to wrap up the call, but this book is so open-ended. It's so inclusive. Most importantly, when I developed this book, I did not want it to feel overwhelming or like a ton of homework. Cause again, to your point, a hundred is such a huge commitment, right? It's, it's, um, it's a lot for people to digest alone without knowing that they're potentially going to be, uh, you know, really committing to a, a specific nutrition plan as well. So if you're opening a book and then it's asking you a million questions and what, how many containers and how many glasses of water and, and what are your goals and how hard did you work? If you miss a day, then you kind of feel like you failed in a way. So I, I really wanted this to be, I want, I want you guys to feel like the author of this book. Cause you are, this is your life being 100% is, is up to you. So you get to decide what are your goals? What do you want your, uh, what your life, what do you want your life to look like? Um, what is the ultimate you? So you get a chance to actually reflect your why and, and talk about your why you have a chance to set up your perfect morning routine to list out your tribe. So who are the people that know this is a goal of yours? They know that you've committed to it and they're going to support you and help you on this journey and help keep you accountable. Um, very quick, simple activities. Every phase, you get a new activity. You have some time to reflect um, every workout if you like. So this is what the tracking pages look like. It just allows you to write the date, the time that you did your workout, um, what your commitment level was, how hard you work, some, some reflection moments for your positive intention. And then uh, again, just you continue to level up through it. So this book, again, it's just going to be a huge, a hugely, um, supportive companion and tool to help you not only crush a hundred workouts, but also to crush your life and, and to, to, to create goals and kind of get back to your why. If you've fallen off track, it's going to help you find yourself again. Yeah. Coach, as I look through this book, it's not just a tracker. This is not just like, Hey, check here. No, this is a very it's much a self-reflecting book. You guys, it's, it's so beautiful. And there's a, a ribbon in it to help you keep your place. I'm really excited about it. Good stuff. <laughs> Okay. Uh, moving on now quickly to just a question. I know a lot of coaches, when they talk to customers, I, whether they feel guilty or not asking this, they ask the question, so can I just get away by doing the workouts or do I have to purchase the pack? Do I have to purchase the supplements that go along with this? How important are the supplements, Shakeology, nutrition to getting the results in this program? Absolutely. Well, it's like, 
you get out what you put in, right? So here we, here we are, we're back to square one. Every choice that you make, and actually I love this quote, the quote, this is a Deepak quote that's in the book, but every choice you make will change the future, it has the power to change the future. So your level of commitment means everything. It's gonna, it's gonna change everything for you. So it's like, it's whatever, it's, it's Wednesday's hump day. I love that, that little meme we always see. Um, don't half-ass it, always use your full ass, right? Same thing goes, with, it goes with the workouts, it goes with the nutrition plan and including the supplements. So if you really wanna give it your all, guys, absolutely, I highly recommend um, with these workouts, incorporating Energize. You know, if you are working harder on, on being a morning person, especially, I don't know how many parents are on listening to this right now, but guys, how cool is it when you are able to wake up and be the first person in your house to wake up and everything's silent and quiet without being woken up with like Legos hitting you in the head and mommy, where's my sunshine and my chocolate milk. And, um, it's, it's really cool to be in, in control. And I will say waking up, having the coffee makers. I love drinking coffee, but I, I just started incorporating energize. I'd never done that before in my life. Um, and I'm not naturally a morning person, but after becoming a mom and realizing wow, waking up, being the first person to wake up and having, even if it is just 20 to 30 minutes alone, quiet time where I can be present, I can set the pace, set the tone for my day. I'm in control. Um, every day, does it happen that way? No, I just got back from Sweden. I'm jet lagged. My family's waking up at two, three o'clock in the morning right now, um, but we're getting back on, on, on track. Point is, yes, absolutely. Energize will help give you the juice uh, to get ready and, and crush out these workouts quickly. Again, setting the pace for the day. And then they're challenging workouts. Just because you're 20, 30 minutes long does not mean you are not going to get rocked um, in every capacity. So incorporating recover is, is highly recommended. Now I will say quickly for anyone that's deciding to stack workouts. Um, and, and again, I'll talk more about that at a later time when, when we are sharing more information on the calendars. But if, especially this summer, guys, a lot of you guys live in hot climates, humid climates. Um, I was watching Amy's story yesterday. Her dog had trouble in the heat. It's so important that you stay hydrated. So once you're passing that mark, if you're deciding to stack workouts, especially if you're working out in your garage, you're working out outside, um, please consider using it. And you'll see me drinking it on set because a lot of days we're shooting two and three workouts. Hydrate. Um, hydrate is one of my favorites. Also power greens. You'll see, uh, um, one of the challenge packs is called the Jericho pack and it includes power greens. Someone asked me on the call last night, wow, wh why is there a power greens? You know, why is Jericho's pack have, have power greens in it? Guys, I love greens and I, I believe personally that you can't get enough greens in your life. So even before, uh, I was working with Beachbody, I was taking similar, you know, style greens from whole foods and we just shoot them at our house. Cause to me personally, I'd rather, you know, not taste greens in my shake. And so that's how I take them. And it's funny because someone said to me, well, you shoot your greens like that. And I'm like, yeah, so I'll chase it with my shake. And then I get to enjoy the chocolatey um, vegan flavor of my shake instead of uh, bringing the greens into it. So you can do it however you like, but I absolutely recommend most importantly, energize if you're an energized person, um, but definitely recover for sure. And if you're starting to stack, hydrate. Love that. Great, great advice. Okay. Uh, so now we're coaches. I'm up here to my last question or two. There's something that we're introducing this time that has never been done before in the past. Um, we've done VIP coach exclusive test groups where you can come in and, and engage with the trainer and it's the length of the program. And it's been really educational and, and, and valuable. But what we have noticed is people come in to just watch. They come in here to just see what other people are doing. They're not taking action about what to do, how to set up their next group. So what we're introducing this time with Jericho's program is we're introducing this two week group and it's strictly there for you to yes engage with Jericho and she'll be in there daily but it's also there so that you can learn how to not only crush your current challenge group but how to successfully set up your second one with the results that you're currently getting there's going to be sales training there's going to be coaches going in we're going to be in there as well to give you all the training you need to set up your group successfully. This is not a sit back and watch and, and relax group. It's not a hundred day group. This is a two week crash course on how to successfully crush your current one and set up sequential challenge groups. So Jericho, quickly just talk us through your involvement in that two week group. Absolutely. So what I will say to you right away, I don't know how many of you guys are watching that 
that have been in the in the uh, pilot test group. But one thing that was so challenging for me was uh, my inability to connect as frequently as I wanted to throughout the whole process of filming. Um, but that's just that's that's semantics. That's that's how uh, you know. Obviously, the the priority for me was was filming and bringing my A game every single day. Um, continuing to develop these workouts, by the way, as the phases were, were um, shaping together during the filming process and, and, and feeling some of the feedback come through from the test group, I was still choreographing. We were still, um, you know, there were big, long production days working very hard. So everything I had left, I brought home to my family and took a step back from social media and I, I re- had to reprioritize. That said, uh, you guys, This group in particular, I am all yours now. I am free to connect and engage with you guys. I'm back on social media. I'm starting to ramp up my posts and and just get back um, into this phase. So that was the biggest um, chunk of work for me, developing those workouts for so many months, filming them for so many months. And now I get to share it with everyone. I get to answer all of your questions. I get to sweat live with you. So we'll be doing some workouts together live. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you how to get the most out of them, how to talk about them. If you have questions about the moves, we can do some some Q and A's, um, and I can give you some technique practice. Uh, but bottom line, this has been condensed so that you get more quality. And again, if you were listening to the beginning of the call when I was talking to you guys about just how much I value time now, so much time is is in my opinion wasted on on mindless information on social media, scrolling through things that aren't really serving a purpose. So I want to invite you guys to just kind of reassess the quality of not only the content that's sucking away your very valuable time, but also the content that you're putting out. So my goal with, along with Kevin and the team with Beachbody is we want to give you guys the best um, training, the best information possible to help you reach your goals, to really know how to, how to talk to people about this program. want to make sure you feel successful with it. Um, So day by day, and I don't want you to please, please do not forget those first 10 workouts that are going to drop on between July 1st and the 15th. That's Monday. You can start pushing play on those. The prep calendar as well. So again, these are separate. You're going to get five prep workouts. You're going to get, you already have the sample workout that's live that's staying up on BOD, but you're going to be able to, uh, to dive in to all of those guys. So once you're getting them under your belt, by the way, again, they're, they're being taken off of beach body on demand. So if you're not signed up to sweat with me at summit, if you're not able to make it to a super Saturday, this, these 10 workouts are your only chance to understand really fully every single different genre and variety that exists in Morning Meltdown 100 because there's 10 different unique genres. And from those 10, they melt down and they're all unique going down um, phase by phase. So every phase gives you a unique workout in all 10 categories and, and you, you get to level it up. So Love please it. take take advantage of it. And and I'm going to, I'm not sure if we're, we got an answer on it yet, but if, if possible, I'd love to jump into that group a little early for anyone that's are all ready to go um, with VIP. I'm all yours. I'm ready to answer your questions to give you guys, you know, to help add value. Good. Yeah. Coaches, remember to get into this group, you have to purchase one of the uh, bundles or packs that are available as of July 1st. That's how you get in. You'll get an email sent to you that, that gives you the link to join that group. Okay. So, and there's an FAQ, FAQ 4368. Uh, that's the FAQ. If you want to learn more about this um, super trainer group that Jericho is going to be running along with us to get you in that, into that challenge group and get you excited. Okay. Uh, I know so many of you are excited. I know so many of you are just pumped up, ready to go. Can't wait for July 1st. Can't wait for those 10 first workouts. Here's what I need you to do. Take that, exci- take that excitement and turn it into action. Excitement's a feeling. That's an emotion. That's great but it means nothing if you don't take action. So take action, start reaching out, gain that confidence you need to reach out to people and say, hey, I know you've been sitting on this, but this is the time. Now is the time to commit to these 100 workouts with me. I'm gonna do this with you. Let's do this together. Okay, Jericho, did we go through all the hashtags behind you, all the dates? I think- Yeah, I wanna go through through them quickly and I wanna add one more thing before we wrap this up that's super, super important for, for all of you guys that are watching. Um, to really make sure people feel successful and they have all the tools that they need. Um, so let me go through these quickly. Morning, hashtag morning meltdown 100, hashtag MM100. Hopefully you guys are, are there following those already. 
Uh, and then of course our social handles at morning meltdown 100. I'm Jericho McMatthews on so all my social accounts. And then also to go along with the FAQ for our, um, our exclusive two week uh, group with you guys is FAQ 8306. So that's going to cover all the morning meltdown information and, and key information uh, revolving around this program, everything you get with it. And then our VIP early access, July 29th, um, we talked to the other dates. So this Monday, July 1st, I'll be on the national wake up call. You'll get access to the prep calendar. So it's 28 days. Um, so it's leading up to our, our VIP early access launch. You're going to have those first 10 workouts only for the first two weeks of July. Then they're going to be removed and you're not going to see them again until the 29th. All right. So make sure you take full advantage. What I need to talk to you guys about really quickly. Oh, the end, end of the day today. Yes. Oh, really quickly. Heads up. The FAQ for 4368 will be live at the end of today. All right. So I just got that. note. thank you. Um, here's that other piece, the missing ingredient depending on your personal goals. Uh, if you guys have fallen off track a little bit with your fitness, with your, 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 your body fat, whatever it is, if you're looking to lose weight with this program, if you're looking to maintain, if you're looking to gain, gain muscle, gain weight, you have to commit to a nutrition plan. And I will say right now, one of the things that was one of our biggest takeaways from the test group, there's so much flexibility. It's a beautiful thing. There's so much flexibility with Morning Meltdown 100. For the first time ever, you get a standalone nutrition program that goes with Morning Meltdown 100, but we've also so beautifully incorporated uh, to be mindset and ultimate portion fix. So here's what I need you guys to understand, and I hope that you, you hear me say this. If you have clients that are, are feeling hugely successful with a to be mindset, ultimate portion fix, and, and they don't want to come off of that, then keep them on it. I will say too, and I don't have it handy. Um, I want to show you guys a nutrition plan. It's amazing. And it's so user-friendly. So again, it incorporates both to be mindset and ultimate portion fix. You can incorporate all the recipes from morning meltdown 100 into either standalone program to be mindset or ultimate portion fix. So again, don't be afraid of of uh, mixing them up. It's very, very simple to follow, easy to understand. And actually the plans, the calorie brackets and each plan in Morning Meltdown 100 is identical to Portion Fix. So if you're already on one of those plans, then you can, and you wanna try something new, you wanna try Morning Meltdown 100, you can very easily just jump over to Morning Meltdown 100. Um, so again, just, just wanna throw that out there. You've gotta own nutrition and please, please, be mindful and aware if people do what, depending on their goals, everyone has different goals. You've got to help them choose the right plan for them. And, um, and Hey, if something's not working, if they're a little off track, well, good news, there's, there's flexibility. There's a different plan they can, they can select. Okay. And track, you've got to track, use the tracker. Yep. Love that. I love that you threw in that nutrition piece, guys. It is not all of our super trainers know, like as cool as their programs are, you can't get the results you want if you don't include the nutrition plan associated with that. And the fact that you can be either do 2B mindset or UPF is phenomenal. Love that we do that. Okay, guys, July 1st cannot come fast enough. Can I get an amen on that for crying out loud? We are ready to get this going. Guy Jericho, thank you so much for joining us on our call today. Tune in guys on the national wake up call where she goes over even more with you. And July 1st is around the corner. Do those workouts, become familiar with them, and guys, start the process. We're so excited, Jericho. Thank you so much for joining us on this special training today. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to tag me in the post. I want to share them and like them and give you guys love. All right, thanks. See ya. <laughs> Bye.